llamas. Always have your eye on the llamas. That's what this video is about. We're gonna go ahead and tell you how to make sure you get a llama in every game. There are five available on the map and there's a trick to go ahead and find them. And I'm here today to show you that trick so you can get llamas every game. Lots of llamas, lots of mats. Since the rebuff of the mats, it's much nicer to find one because you are rewarded much more. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the game and show you how to do it. Also, if you're new here and you like tech fixes, tutorials, and gaming, make sure you do me a favor and smack that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and just jump right over to the game. Whoosh. This is always nice to run into when you're loading the game. Fish stick, new World Cup style. I knew it was coming. I didn't think we were going to see it yet. They're really getting excited for the World Cup and building it up. And this is a good way to do it. Nice job, Epic. I'm excited to run this skin. Let's go ahead and check the item shop while we're here. See what we got. Ooh. Hmm. Looks like the item shop just flipped. I kind of like this skin. It's pretty bright though. You gotta be careful with the bright ones because they're easy target practice. Hey, a new smack scriber. Welcome. <laughs> let's go ahead and let's pick this up. Because I do uh, think it looks pretty good. Micah. And let's go in the locker. And she definitely needs to have those duels. Yeah, those. Um, we'll say no back bling for now. Yeah, I like I like the soothing sound of that. So we'll keep that. Let's go ahead and show you how to get the llamas now. So the trick about the llamas is when you start the game and you jump out of the battle bus, the map has to render in. So while that's happening, llamas actually are one of the first things that render. So because of that, you can change your settings a certain way so it makes it easier to see it. So the settings that you want to change, go up here, go ahead and choose settings, go to the guy in the circle. You're going to turn colorblind mode on Deuteranopia. And then we're going to go ahead and pump it up to 10. And we're going to go ahead and apply it. Next, we're going to go to brightness. And we're going to pump that up to 100% or 1.0. It's definitely easier on the brighter setting. Apply that and back. And now you're good to go. So your game's going to look a little different. You can actually change it back once you land if you'd like. But this will go ahead and help you spot those llamas from the sky. I'm going to go ahead and show you how because it is a little tricky to do. So let's go ahead and jump into playground and practice there. While we load up, guys, if you don't mind, check out the uh, item shop. And if you could use code KevinSmack.tv, I really would appreciate it. I'd really like to grow the support for the shop. So if you can use that code, you'd be awesome. Let's go ahead and jump into an area. Um, I'm not going to go like Polar Peak right away because it takes practice. I think Dusty's a good place to start with. So let's go ahead and do Dusty. Also, Playground's good because there's so many. So while you're up here, you should be able to see little white dots. And you can ping them to see that they're llamas. Let's go ahead and go back out and I'll show you again. Let's go back to the hub and we'll choose another area. So right when we're in the sky, you can see these dots. I'm so bad at pinging. There we go. Uh, let's try to look for another one. Yeah, there we go. 
Wow, this is really easy to do. Boom. I know there's one over there. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty awesome. You can go ahead and target the llamas very easily and see them very high up. And you can do this in regular games too. This this is playground. I did playground because there's more llamas. And in the beginning, until you get used to it, it's good to go ahead and do that. So you kind of get used to it. Let's go ahead and open a llama just in case you haven't got one in a while. We'll go ahead and show you what's inside of it. You get lots of ammo and you get 200 mats each. And then you may get shields or what I just got, grenades, boogie bombs, all that fun stuff. You blow stuff up. Good times, good times. So now you can show off with your friends and ping the llamas in the sky before you even land. Something else, I do know a lot about the colorblind settings. I wrote the best, I have the best epic YouTube video that there is on colorblind settings. I did a lot of research on it. I'll go ahead and link it up top here if you want to check it out. I think it's well worth it. You should check it and you'll learn some more about all the colorblind settings, what they all mean, and which ones work best because I do have different examples of everyone in action. So it makes it easier for you to pick out which type of colorblind settings you would like to choose. Let's go ahead and do one more. We're going to do a little harder this time. We'll go in like, we'll go Polar Peak. So this is going to be tough because I think it's going to be tough. Let's go ahead and hit the parachute right away. Park glider. Uh, for me, this is a lot harder. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I see one right over there. I did. There is one over there, but it's not in the, it's not in the snow. So that was a fail. <laughs> It's really hard to see it in the white background. Here's one. Boom. Should we respawn, see if we can find some more? Yeah, a llamas for days, guys. Llamas for days. This will definitely help you find a llama pretty much all the time. The thing is, are you going to go for that llama right away? Are you going to go for it after? Just be careful because remember, llamas do not provide guns. So that's an issue if you don't get anything to fight with and someone else grabs a gun first and then comes at you. So just be mindful. I'm sure you already know all this, but 600 mats and all that ammo in the beginning, amazing to start with, right? You could just crush anyone. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to use this. And the cool thing is once you do land, like I said, you can switch the settings back in game. You know, you just go to settings, turn it off, boom. I leave mine at like 61 because I like it a little bright. And there you go. And again, it works because the llamas are placed before the map renders. So as you start getting lower, it's going to be more difficult to notice the dots. But once you're high up there for a good amount of time, especially if you pull your glider quickly, you'll be able to see them the whole time. 
So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something new. And I hope you get those llamas. Let me know if you are enjoying and finding them more often now that we have five and they up the mats. I'm going to go ahead and put a poll up here. Let me know if you find any llamas. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. I'm going to put another video about colorblind settings. The one I was talking about here, like I said, it's a great guide. And yeah, there's a lot of other things you can do with colorblind set settings like see in the storm. And I have a video on that as well. So I will see you over there. And guys, as always, thank you for the view.